Top 10 British bands we want to reunite. Oasis is the thumbnail. Um, yeah, I would love an Oasis reunion, reunion, but you know, I have to be honest here. As much as I love Oasis and as much as I am a fan of Oasis, Oasis has have passed their prime a long time ago, like since the 90s. So yeah, I would love to see. Uh, I would love to see a you know a reunion to you know the Gallagher Brothers. The Gallagher Bros make up again. I would love to see that. But it probably isn't gonna happen. And if it is gonna happen, then you know, you're never gonna get 90s Oasis back again. Or hell, even, um, well, probably maybe 2000s Oasis was pretty good, I would say. But never on that 90s peak again, for sure. Uh, so Oasis is gonna make the list because they're on the tunnel. I believe they're number one, really. Yeah, you know, I've seen the list already and they, I believe they were number one, so there we go. Um, is Talking Heads British? I don't know, maybe Talking Heads. Uh, the Smiths, yeah, the Smiths. I would love to see a Smiths reunion, but I believe that Morrissey kind of has the same mindset as Stephen Wilson of Park Country. You know, both think, you know, we did that thing and they kind of look at it like, like an awkward teen face that look at it like that although that is uh, where they were famous that is where they got their popularity from but they don't want to look at the past um, and they don't really have any interest in returning so i would love to see you know pork country re reunion are they british yeah, i believe they are really so i'm saying pork country but they're not going to make the list i believe they're british i think so yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. It's your all time favorite band. How, how, how can you not know that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Don't, uh, don't ask me. I believe they are, though. Uh, but the Smiths are going to be on this list. Led Zeppelin, I think. Well, no, no, it's not. No, no, no. Led Zeppelin is eligible. Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, the Beatles aren't eligible because, you know, uh, mi main members have died so that's not possible the doors are not well the doors are american so that doesn't count yeah but that's like that i can't really think of anything but if i see the list and you know i will be like oh yeah there we go hey you can go uh I, I want to say blur but i believe blur already is back together so <laughs> Yeah, the Smiths. The stage is set. Welcome to Watch World Drink UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the... Oh, uh, not Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Fuck that shit. How do people like that band? Just listen to the Smiths, mate. Way better. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video... Uh, the Verve? That's a good one. Great bird pop band. Yeah, Genesis, that's a good one. Zeppelin. That's not really possible, but sure. No. The police. Is the police British? They don't really sound British to me, but... They probably are. Uh, Pink Floyd? Not really, because Pink Floyd isn't really... Oh, I'm getting call, I believe. Because I believe the, the local, you know, the local authorities are calling to me. They're basically calling because like a fucking robber is near me or something. If it happens, it happens. Shit happens. It's like an automatic call. It's really annoying. Just everybody gets a call. If you want it or not. Their record breaking Dark Side of the Moon album. 
Pink Floyd reunion tour would surely trigger astronomical ticket sales and massive hype. Of course, Floyd did get back yeah, but in 2005. Pink Floyd is fucking golden, mate. It'll need any more money. But on live, a benefit game. But the death of founding member Rick Wright in 2008 ended rumours of a new long term project. Rest in peace. Well, Nick Mason is still alive, though. Nick Mason did pair up for 2012's The Endless River, Floyd's 15th and supposedly final studio album, but singer, songwriter and bassist Roger Waters still wasn't involved, having left the band in 1985. Number 9, The Verb. Oh, The Verb. Having seen their stock steadily rise throughout the 90s, The Verve's commercial high point came in 1997 with the celebrated album Urban Hymns. Featuring seminal tracks including Bittersweet Symphony and The Drugs Don't Work, become one of the best selling records in British music history. It's, a bittersweet. it's not an original song, but it is great though. It's a great song. But two short years later, and the band parted ways, citing all manner of personal and creative differences. There was a fourth album tour in 2007, including a splurge of festival appearances in 2008, but nothing since. Here's hoping Richard Ashcroft and co. can bury the hatchet soon. That's a banging chick right there. Well, they do know how to pick, uh, to pick their fucking uh, music video members. They, knew, they know how to make their music videos. This is a terrible band, not the verb, but this one. Fuck's sake. Number 8, Frankie Goes to Hollywood. It never sounded like rock to me. It sounds like kind of synthy new wave garbage. Not to say that new wave is garbage, but it just sounds terrible. Frankie Goes to Hollywood scored three number ones with their best. Frankie Lee, that is. And those songs are still the band's signature numbers. However, their time at the top was short lived, splitting up shortly after touring with just their second album in 1986. Terrible band. Seven years later, I just do not get them. Announcement that he was HIV positive was followed by a long spell out of the spotlight. But with Johnson releasing material in 2016, fans still hope for more from the original Frankie Lionel. Uh, the police. Number seven, the police. That would be good though. That would be good to read it. Those days are over. Great. The police led a new wave of British music that quickly conquered mainstream charts Brexit. around the world. But synchronicity seems a long time ago now, and fans have long called for Sting, Andy Summers, and Stuart Copeland to give it another go. The band did embark on a I don't really see it happening, but if it would happen, it would be good. Seven, and we're even joined by original guitarist Henry Padovani at the end of the Paris show. However, news of new music has been virtually non-existent, despite that tour earning more than three hundred and fifty million dollars. Uh, Genesis. Number six, Genesis. To a band which has undergone various personal changes throughout its history and has routinely redefined its sound, style and genre, Genesis were founded in 1967 with Peter Gabriel at the helm. However, the band's best commercial figures were posted in the mid-80s with Phil Collins as the frontman. A late 90s breakup was followed by 2007's Turn It On Again, part reunion tour with Collins, but there remains a constant clamouring for Gabriel to return. A 2014 BBC documentary only stoked ongoing speculation. Watch this space. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Redundant titles, redundant. I, lo I love Collins though, but not the best Genesis era. 
But of course, that's the only thing they play because it's mainstream. Yeah. Hailing from North London and built around brothers Ray and Dave Davies, the Kinks are widely considered one of the UK's most influential acts. From Waterloo Sunset to Lola, the band's back catalogue is crammed with classics. And unlike many others on today's list, they enjoyed a lengthy career, forming in 1962 and disbanding in 96. <laughs> Stories of a no, no, relationship no, no, between no, Ray and Dave no. seem to scupper most reunion rumours in the 2000s. The pair have since seemed on better terms, prompting us all to fairly cross our fingers. Number four, the jam. Number four, the jam. The jam split in 1982, the move surprised both fans and fan members. While bassist Bruce Foxen and drummer Rick Buckler had wanted to continue, Paul Weller walked away, having released six albums in five years. The move triggered a positive within the group, with Weller and Foxton reportedly not speaking for almost 20 years afterwards. Weller went on to form the Style Council, who might have made this countdown themselves, and has continually denied rumours of another jam record. He says reunions are sad, but we reckon fans would disagree. Number three, um, Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. It's not really possible anymore, but okay. Band for 70s rock music and a group whose influence can still be heard in today's rock charts, Led Zeppelin were pioneers of their craft. But their original run came to a tragic end in September 1980 when drummer John Bonham passed away. Bonham's death prompted an immediate and unanimous decision to disband Led Zeppelin, although one of reunion shows have happened since. Yeah, but it was never the same though. 2007 gig at the O2 inspired unprecedented demand for tickets online, with a reported 20 million requests recorded. Any future tour is sure to sell out in seconds. Yep. <laughs> Immigrant song, really much mojo. It's like the biggest hit of all of love. How do you mess it up? Uh, the Smiths? Yes. Number two, the Smiths. These guys are often credited as inventors of alternative rock, such as the impact. Mm, yeah, the arguably. 80s. Formed by Johnny Marr, who struck with amazing band. Morrissey in 1982, the band released four albums between '84 and '87. A fairly acrimonious split followed, with Marr suggesting that the friendship with Morrissey had run its course. This that riff, you know, that riff, it sounds easy, but it's actually kind of difficult. I didn't know that until uh, I got criticized by one of my fans, Relief Chloe. It's a great song, uh, I love it. Discussed, but much to everyone's disappointment, it never materialized. <laughs> that is a typical Smith's lyric there, right there. Oasis. I think this is the first time they play something from a beer now. There are few I would love to see more of that though. Yeah, sure, it's not a morning glory or definitely maybe, but play it more. It's a great all. Ships have produced a better back catalog either. Oasis became a worldwide phenomenon in the 90s, buoyed by an iconic debut album and an equally esteemed follow up. Stories of unrest behind the scenes continually emerged until 
until Noel quit the band in 2009. Since then, rumours of reconciliation have seemed constant, but Liam and Noel remain adamant that a reunion will never happen. Regardless, we're holding out for a change of heart. I would love to see it though, but it's just not going to materialise into something good. I just know it. You know, Liam is not really the singer that he once was, and no songwriting has. It's pretty good now again, you know, with a solo stuff, but it's not what it used to be. I have to agree there. Or I have to say that. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo UK and subscribe for more great content. Fantastic song. Still crying your heart out. Um, most people, yeah, you know, most people say that oh, it's the best, uh, you know, post 90s Oasis song. I guess, I guess. It's a great song, though, I love it. But I love most of Oasis songs, though. There are some songs for standing on the shoulders of Giant that I don't really dig, but most of them I do really love. But who's the band best, best band on this list? Oasis, The Kings. Not Oasis, that's for sure. I get that it. it's like Oasis. Got to be Oasis, live forever. Are you mad, Fritz? <laughs> no one wants a Frankie Goes to Hollywood reunion, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Through a decent group, it's who actually cares about them anymore? Nobody. So sad that Oasis isn't live forever. Just two years. What? How do people in England greet their sisters? Oasis. Oasis? <laughs> you just probably spelled it out a bit more different, but yeah, you get it. That's pretty funny. Stop. <laughs> Please, can you do Best Wars UK Eurovision Entrance video? The Stone Roses should have been on this list. Oh yes, the Stone Roses. I love it. And you know, you know, if there weren't, if there were no Stone Roses, you wouldn't have Oasis. So I'm, um, you know, I fucking love the Stone Roses for that fact, and I just love them in general. The debut album is just oh, one of my all-time favorites. Pink Floyd could have been higher. Pink Floyd. I don't really get why they're on the list. You know, don't get me wrong. Pink Floyd is one of my all-time favorites, and that's Zeppelin too. But you just said you just said you know oh we cannot include bands that have you know uh, one or two members lost or you know deceased, but yes Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin are, are on the list. What? I don't I don't get that but sure. The Smiths should have been number one. I like well the Smiths are always it's they're both amazing. I both love them. Think always are incredibly overrated. It doesn't help that the the that both the Gallagher brothers are complete cunts as well. It is kind of true though. I mean, I do love the band, but I cannot deny that, that they're both assholes and that the band is kind of overrated. But I do love it. I do love the Oasis. I would certainly say that the specials deserve a spot here. Oh, the specials are, I believe, a ska, a ska band. Sure. The Beatles, but, it do, but does it work with just two members left? No. I mean, they have to try, uh, you know, yeah, you know, Paul McCartney and Wing, or Paul McCartney and Wing, or just Paul McCartney in general. I believe Wings is not a thing anymore either, so there we go. And dubs. Away side of Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, The Smiths, The Kings, The Police, which most UK is worse than their main channel. There's a high chance and expectation of them getting back together. Back together because the Gallagher brothers are still young enough to, uh, to to form Oasis compared to the other bands. That's fair. You know, it's not saying that Oasis is better than all of those bands, but they're saying that Oasis is most likely to get back together. Yeah, the Smiths is very unlikely, but they're still kind of young, so sure. Oasis over the Kings. Yep, live with it. <laughs> I actually do prefer Oasis over the Kings, honestly. I, I never really got the Kings. I do like them, but I never got them. Joy Division. Um, that's not really possible, but sure. 
Flying to Learn, or yeah, that's his name. I uh, can do Joy Division as Ian Curtis died. But I wish, I wish Curtis was still alive, the band had so much potential. It was a joke, my good man. Yeah, I mean, if you want a Joy Division reunion, but that's not possible, so just listen to New Order, you know? That's the best thing besides Joy Division. Thank you for putting the Kings on here. Uh, number one and two should have been swapped. That's fair. Oasis Haha, a crap Beatles tribute band with zero talent and the famous Twat Brothers. Today is gonna be the day that I hope to get the top 10 anime deaths part two. One Direction should have been number one. I, I, I can't wait for them to come back though. I would love the Verve and Oasis to come back. What? One, one Direction, what a joke. What about Blur? Uh, Blur still together, I believe, so. Still liked either way, you know, because of the Blur mention. Shouldn't be ashamed of yourself, sh yourself for putting always in front of the Smiths. Shaking my head. Yeah, deal with it. Uh, out there is someone else who's equally big fan of Oasis as I am, live forever. Absolutely hate Oasis, boring guns. Smith should have been number one. But with that being said, I don't think Morsi would, would, would work well in the band again. I don't think so. You know, it's just very unlikely that the Smiths will ever reform. And Oasis, you know, they're still pretty young. And well, the Gallagher's do hate each other, but maybe you know they're, you know they're the band that's most likely to get back together. And even they say it's not gonna happen. Or well, Liam wants to do it. Liam wants to reform ways, but Noel doesn't really want it. Or they're both kind of skeptical about it. Liam wants it, but Noel does it too. But he doesn't really want to. He does. The reason is he doesn't want to see Liam. I, you know, I get that he, Liam is a cunt. You're you're a cunt yourself, no, but Liam is, or in my opinion, a bit of a cunt. But we're kind of comparing dick size to each other now. So I'm gonna end it there. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, let me know what you think about the list in the comments down below. Um, like or subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Let me know what you yeah what you think about it. Uh, what do you want to see in an upcoming video? Do you agree with the video? Do you think one band should have been on there or one or one or two bands should have been off the list? Let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. God bless you, take care, and peace.